Well, Yakima County is seeing a dramatic increase in the number of coronavirus cases. The governor said that the county is seeing some of the highest rates of coronavirus cases per capita in the Western United States. 22% of hospitalizations statewide for COVID-19 are from Yakima County. 26% of the coronavirus tests in that county last week were positive. The governor says 10.4% of COVID-19 deaths are in Yakima County as well. The most troublesome perhaps statistic at all is that the infection rate in, in, um, in Yakima County per capita compared to King County, it is 27 times higher in Yakima County today than, than in King County. So we know that this is a, uh, frankly, a desperate situation for public health, for our ability to reopen Yakima, which we want to do, and for the health and safety of citizens in Yakima County, and not just for Yakima County, but for the entire state of Washington. We continue to monitor COVID-19's impact on our state. As of today, the state of Washington says 1,265 people have died. That's out of 28,000 confirmed cases. There have been more than 4,000 hospitalizations. Providence Healthcare says they support Spokane Regional Health District's decision to remain in phase two of reopening. In a statement, they say, quote, while we have capacity at our hospitals, we do not support starting the process to move into phase three reopening because it has the potential to put undue stress on our health care system and put a greater number of individuals at risk. Providence goes on to say that Spokane needs to continue with phase two guidelines. They believe that remaining in phase two is best for right now. And in King County, the health department is reporting a big increase in coronavirus cases week over week. We're told it's concerning, but that's not enough to roll back the phase two status that it's currently in. What Seattle restaurant owner says he's not ready yet. We understand the reasoning for it. Unfortunately, if you have a narrower uh, building space like ours, a skinnier footprint, you just can't get enough tables to operate profitably. Dr. Jeff Duchin delivered the troubling numbers yesterday and says it is a reminder to wear a mask and to not take unnecessary risks. Tonight, we're getting a better picture of how weddings and funerals will be held moving forward during the pandemic. The governor says both will be falling under guidelines similar to religious services. For capacity, under phase two, people are allowed to hold an indoor event at 25% capacity and everyone must be social distancing. For food at a wedding or funeral, venues must follow guidelines already in place for dine-in restaurants and bars. So, for example, tables can have a maximum of five guests and must be spaced apart. Buffets and salad bars are not allowed.